Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking into details, the classification that we looked at in previous classes. And we learned that there are five major kingdoms for the classification of living things. And those five major kingdoms are the kingdom Monera, consisting of single-celled organisms like the bacteria. We have the kingdom Protista. We have the kingdom Fungi, consisting of animals like the uh, consisting of living things like mushroom and spirogyra. Then we have the plant kingdom, which consists of most of the plants that you know about, the green plants with stem, roots, and all of them. Then you also have the animal kingdom, which consisted of the what vertebrate and what invertebrate. We say that the invertebrates are those animals without backbone. Animals without backbone are known as invertebrates. And vertebrates are the animals with backbone. So those are the classifications that we looked at the last time. But apart from the kingdom level, the next level you also have other ones like the phylum, the class, the order, and the rest of them. So under those other classifications, in today's class, we are going to be giving some examples. So we have the talophytes, which are ichorales and multicellular organisms that possess chlorophyll. And we say that that possess uh, chloroplast. Good examples are the, are the red, blue, green algae. We also have the uh, bryophytes, which are non-vascular plants like the mosses. We also have the ferns also known as pteridophytes. Then we have the gymnosperms and the angiosperms. The gymnosperms are those plants that have naked seeds. Whereas the angiosperms are the flowering plants, which encompasses most of the plants that you see in the world. Then under animals, we have the colentrates, which are multicellular aquatic animals like the hydra, the sea animal, and the jellyfish, as well as the corals. We have the flatworms, that will have examples like the tapeworm, the planaria, river flu, and the blood flu. Then we have the roundworms, which can also be called the nematodes. They are actually cylindrical in nature if you know roundworms like the hookworm, the treadworm, and the guinea worm. Then we have the anthropods, under which we have the centipedes, the millipedes, the insects, the spiders, and the crayfish. And finally, we have the annelids. Here we have the earthworm and the leeches. We also have the mollusks that we have snails and the octopus. We have the amphibians and the reptiles. The amphibians live partly in water and partly on land. Examples are the toads and the frogs. And the reptiles are animals like lizard, crocodile, tortoise, and snake. So those are the major examples under these various classifications. You are supposed to know them very importantly. Jam can always pop out questions on them will be asked which of the following animals is not supposed to be under a given class and they will name the class. Then you are supposed to know similar animals that are supposed to be under that very classification. So under reptiles you are supposed to have animals like lizard, crocodile, tortoise and snake. So take note, study this, study the classification that we've given you so far. Relate the classification that I gave you initially to all these examples. So this class is all about giving you examples of these various classifications. So take notes. 